No, I felt something in my my pelvis here, yeah, like when I was. Um, oh, what's this? Maybe it's like a pimple or something, but it's painful, so I had to stop because. Welcome to another video with Billy. I'm here with my bicycle and I'm heading to the gym. So as you can see it's sunny but it's also windy and pretty cold but it's the best time to go and exercise. So nothing can stop me. I have to have determination and will to do whatever you set your mind to. It's New Year 2022 and if you're all in this mantra New Year New Me bullshit uh, I'm offering to everyone who hires me as a personal trainer or online coach a 20% discount for hiring me as a personal trainer so take this opportunity will not last long because I'm already full just kidding but and uh, now I'm very close to the gym but before I start the video please like it for the support and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more amazing content do it do it come on do it now okay so we're in front of the gym this is the sign fitness center gym 2000 you have Fitness, cardio, aerobic, yoga, massage, and sauna. Working hours from 8 a.m. until 10 p.m. Let's go inside. First, I will park my bicycle. This is my spot. And look at this Gym 2000 Fitness Center. Okay. This is my angry machine. It has been with me for about eight or nine years. So it's almost going to be a jubilee, 10 years. It's very helpful. It brings me to many places and I really love to ride a bicycle. It keeps me healthy, keeps me in shape and it's something that I really enjoy doing. We are about to go inside and let's go. Go over there. Yeah. Yes, we're inside. Okay. I'll go to change my clothes first. Okay, so today I'm gonna do chest and back again. Because yesterday I did legs, sorry I didn't record that video, but you can see other videos including leg workout from before and uh, today I'm gonna do chest and back and the first exercise is bench press of course so I'm gonna start with chest and then finish it with the back so let's go So you know the drill is a bit cold here and uh, first set I always like to do a warm up with the, only the bar, so bar is around 20 kilograms, so this was a warm up set, 20 reps, so let's go, first set. Thank you. 
So first set I put 10 kilos on the side, so totally with the bar is like 40 kilos. And uh, how I like to uh, work out is I like to do higher rep range with the medium to a bit higher weight. So first set I will do around 50, 60, uh, my one rep max. Second set. 60-70% of my one rep max and third set 70-80 and then fourth set 80-90 to 90 of my one rep max I, uh, maybe some of you will say it's not good that I don't go below 6 or 4 reps uh, I do sometimes but <laughs> this is uh, not that workout but uh, I'm sure there will be a chance for me to record like uh, my one rep max and uh, current uh, physical condition like uh, how strong I am but now I like to keep it safe you know controlled uh, I gained a couple of kilos during these uh, holidays so first I have to lose some weight and then I will do some strength exercises okay let's go second set Okay, so that's the second set. I did uh, 12 repetitions. So the last two I did very slowly. So that's one of the tips from me. So when you're at almost like uh, that you can't lift more, just make a break and then do two more reps. That's how you push yourself and uh, get more strength. That's how you become strong. Also, you have to lift heavy. That's one of the ways how to become stronger, but also if you do slow, like last two reps and keep pushing yourself, you know, today maybe you can do 8 reps, tomorrow you can do 10 reps, like 2 more, and then the other day or another month you can do 2 more, so you can do 12, it's all progress, you have to be consistent, that's the key, because this consistency and uh, also to be uh, like a, what's the word? I don't know. You just have to keep pushing yourself. That's it. That's the key. Persistent, I think that was the word. Okay, so as you can see, I did 8 reps, 60 kilos, so uh, that's 
almost my body weight. Uh, I remember uh, I used to lift like back in the days uh, 95 kilos. That was uh, the most I could lift that I tried. Uh, fortunately, I didn't get injured. I had a spotter, of course, spotter, someone to stand behind me and uh, help me if I have difficulties to lift the bar up. So, yeah, let's see in a few days if I will be able to lift at least 80, 85 kilos. Yeah, that will be good progress as well. Okay, one more set. Okay, now I will attempt to lift 70 kilos for the first time in a while and let's see if I can lift at least, I don't know, let's see. I guess I can lift two times, but let's see if I can do four. So I did three times and the third time I saw that uh, maybe I would be struggling to lift like four reps so I just stopped because I didn't have spotter and it's easy to get injured or like uh, you know bar can fall on your chest or on your neck and I didn't want to risk so always know your limit when you exercise alone don't risk don't do one rep max or something like crazy. If you want to do that, always have a spotter. Have, ask someone, uh, staff in the gym to assist you and that's how you will prevent an injury. Okay, so finish with a uh, bench press, like a flat bench. And I'm gonna do uh, incline bench. And let's go. Okay, so now I'm gonna do incline bench. It's for the upper part of the chest and uh, you can do also dips for the lower part but uh, if you do flat bench press it's more uh, targets the middle part so let's go Okay, so first set I did 16 repetitions, and now I'm gonna put more weight. I uh, I'd like to do the pyramid type of uh, workout. At first, uh, 60%, then 70%, then 80%, then 90% of your one rep max. So usually, uh, rep range goes between 6 and 14, sometimes 16. Depends. Uh, depends on how I feel that day. If I'm uh, fresh, so have to get a lot of sleep, have to give your muscles time to recuperate, and that's very important, nutrition, workout, and sleep, without those three, you cannot make progress, okay, let's do second set.
Well, I felt something in my my pelvis here, like when I was. Um, oh, what's this? Maybe it's like a pimple or something, but it's painful. So I had to stop because uh, I want to prevent myself to from injury. So. I didn't want to continue, I didn't want to push through all the pain because that's how you can get injured. If you feel something's wrong, if your muscle starts uh, to pain, stop it. Don't, don't break through the pain because this can be something severe, I don't know. Hope it doesn't bug me. I will rest a little bit and then continue with my workout. Okay guys, I just want you to see uh, something here. I don't know really, it looks like a pimple, but when I pull my arm back, I feel some kind of a, like a pain or a, like a tight, it's like, I don't know how to explain, I can't stretch it wide enough, and I really feel like I have some kind of a pain, really it's very weird, but yeah, the arms, arm is still here. So yeah, arm and chest is uh, popping out a little bit, so yeah, arms and shoulders look pretty good. <laughs> Boom. My god, it still pains a little bit, but now it's down, but uh, I won't stop, I won't quit. I will keep the same weight, I will not uh, put more weight to prevent myself to, from getting injured, but I will continue with my workout, of course, you know me, never stop, never quit, that's the mindset, let's go, third set. Even though I couldn't do the full rep range, but it feels okay like this. So I'll keep the same weight. Uh, the point is, you have to listen to your body, how it reacts. Uh, if you see you, uh, you're not feeling very well, stop it. That will prevent you from getting injured. So you have to listen to your body. You have to be connected, mind and body. Like you have to have that connection first. Even though someone tells you, yeah, you can do, okay, come on, push, put more weight. Just know your abilities, okay? I don't mean know your limits, but that as well, but know your abilities, know yourself first, before you start lifting heavy weights, because I've seen a lot of guys that even the professional bodybuilders, they get injured and then they have uh, problems. Once you tear your pectoralis or your shoulder or uh, you hurt your lower back from doing uh, deadlifts, uh, it can never come back like it used to be. You can never lift as heavy like before, it will always bug you, you have to recover and then you will lose muscle and it's a painful process, uh, I'm more of a Sean Ray safe approach and uh, because I'm in the fitness world, I'm not in the bodybuilding, so yeah, it's all about preserving your joints, your muscles, so you can stay in this sport for a long, long time. That's the whole point, okay? Stay healthy, stay safe. Let's go. Okay, that was four sets, 
Uh, I could do two more reps, but I didn't want to force myself, so I did 10 repetitions. So now that was the end of the second exercise. Now we're going to do the third one. Let's go. Okay, guys, we're now doing third chest exercise, which is going to be dumbbell flies. So you can do with cables, you can do on a machine, but today I'm going to do dumbbell flies and show you how to do it properly. Okay, let's go. Okay, so there, there are many methods how you can perform an exercise. You can do uh, four sets with the same weight and same rep range, or you can uh, do the pyramid type of uh, exercise, like 60, 70, 80, 90 percent of one rep max, and uh, lower the number of repetitions. So it will be like a, let's see, a seven and a half kilo. Then you do 12 reps. Then 10 kilos, you do 10 reps. Then 10, uh, 12 and a half kilo, you do 8 reps. Then 15 uh, kilo, you do 6 reps. Something like that. But this time, because I don't want to uh, exacerbate my uh, pelvis, or uh, I think it's um, a rear delt. Uh, type of pain, it's not an injury, thank god, but uh, I feel a little bit like annoying, like someone is uh, poking me with a needle all the time, so I'm gonna keep it this way and go through the workout, let's go. So I forgot to tell you I'm using 10 kilo each uh, dumbbell and now I did 10 repetitions per set, I did 12, so I'm gonna keep it 10, okay, all the best, <laughs> yeah, number one, uh, so yeah, as you can see I have to uh, lower your shoulder when performing and do like, and you feel it tight and then close, okay, it's good for the wide uh, this part that connects with the shoulder so it's uh, to make your chest wide not just a uh, small and um, I would say uh, like popping out so it's also to make it more wide to make that stretch okay let's go Okay, so this was my third set, I'm going to do one more set and then hmm, I was thinking which one, which one, okay, I'm going to do push-ups, fourth exercise is going to be push-ups, uh, last time I think I did uh, uh, dips, yeah, so if you want to check that video, you can go back and uh, see all the exercise that I did, it's from the last year, I think it was the uh, end of uh, November, and uh, so I was very busy working, so I didn't have a lot of time to go to the gym and 
throughout the whole December and then the holidays and then, you know many things happen so yeah I'm now back in the gym I'm like full speed every day hardcore maybe I give myself one day off <laughs> but yeah when I start something I never stop go all the way to the end fight for justice let's go Okay, so we finished fourth set of uh, chest flies. Uh, one thing to uh, point out is uh, the breathing. So some people say uh, it's not important. It is important uh, when you're doing cardio. It really doesn't matter how you breathe. You can breathe through your, through your mouth, in and out, uh, because it's difficult when you're like running. You cannot breathe, breathe through your nose, breathe in through your nose, and breathe out through your mouth. It's very difficult. But when you're doing controlled exercises like me. So I can control my movement, and uh, when dumbbells are down, um, I breathe in and hold, keep the breath. When the dumbbells are all the way down, and when they're up, I exhale. So that's the method. When it's uh, pressure, you exhale. Same when you do the, for example, uh, uh, pull down, I mean pull up or you do it with a, with a, on the machine, uh, wide grip uh, pull down with the bar and then you pull down and then you exhale, when the bar is up you inhale, when it's down you release the pressure okay, from your lungs, okay, let's do the fourth exercise which is, let's go. Okay, that was the first set. Uh, I did 12, 20 reps. Normally I do around 30, 40, but uh, this time I'm doing it like uh, last chest exercises. Usually I do push ups first because it's body weight and uh, it will keep my body warm throughout the whole, whole workout. But this time I decided to do it uh, in the end of my chest. Workout, so this one I wore out. You can do like the chest flies with the cables or whatever, but I like to do push ups, you know, because it uh, engages all the chest muscles, including triceps and front shoulder, front delt. Let's go. You can see the uh, second set was a little bit difficult so I had to break, make a break uh, after 10th rep. It's all a consequence of the, uh, my back pain and also I did uh, four, uh, like three chest exercises. The first one was the heaviest, the bench press. I did 70 kilos which is uh, uh, almost my body weight and uh, <clears throat> now I'm not giving myself uh, much rest because I'm recording and <laughs> I don't want this video to be like one hour or so because I still have to preserve my energy to do the back exercises like 
I'll do four back exercises, same as I did uh, four chest exercises. So, third set and the fourth set, I will do ten reps. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, <laughs> almost died at the ninth rep. So, one more set, and then we're off to do some back exercise. Whew. Hope I can do it. My goodness, I had to do half rep because I thought I'm gonna fall down and I didn't wanna quit, I didn't wanna give up. I want to finish 10 reps, you know. When I said something up in my mind, I have to finish it, you know. That's called determination. That's called persistence. It's very important to have this kind of mindset in your life and nothing can stop you. Even the uh, virus, pandemic, whatever, like an earthquake, tsunami, nothing can stop you. You do what you intend to do and let nothing and no one stop you until you reach your goal. Okay, go. So now let's go do back exercises. Boom. Okay, so as you can see, I did a narrow grip lat pull down. So it's for the middle part of the back that keeps your spine straight and strong. It's very good for people who have scoliosis, like a, a bent spine, to do uh, rows and a narrow grip lat pull down. It's good, it will strengthen your uh, middle back muscles and uh, uh, straighten up your spine so that's one good tip and uh, after this exercise I'm gonna do well I'm not gonna tell you I have to watch until the end let's go second set For this uh, exercise, I have to use these uh, sponges because it uh, keep my finger, uh, my hand safe. I don't, uh, I don't want to have uh, how you say, calluses or calluses, something like that. Yeah, I want to keep my hand safe. You can have gloves. I used to have gloves before, but this is also a good way to protect your uh, palms. And uh, yeah, because this uh, bar that I'm pulling has, uh, it's like uh, shredded, you know, it has, so you can, when you grab, it's tight, so you don't slip. Okay, so 
first set I did 40 kilos, second set 50 kilos, now I'm gonna up to 60 kilos and uh, about the bar, as I said, uh, new modern uh, machines, they have uh, rubber around the uh, metal, but this one is old school, it uh, has these lines and uh, that's why I have to use this to protect my, my hands. Okay. Woo, let's go. Feel a little bit tired. I had my booster before this exercise. Uh, it's not a vaccine, it's a energy drink. So yeah, I would hope it will keep me awake and give me power to finish this workout. Let's go. <laughs> Did you see that? Uh, this um, limiter for my legs, it went up, so it wasn't tight, it wasn't uh, in the hole, you know, the, that uh, bar, small, uh, that goes inside the hole to make it, you know, stop. Uh, so, but I had to finish, so I had to lower my body a little bit, lean back to finish this exercise, but it's when you're performing a uh, narrow grip, a light pull down, you have to uh, put your shoulders down and back and your chest out, so you have to like pull to your chest and uh, arch your back a little bit, and don't exaggerate, don't do it like, like this, but do it like this, yeah, good, four sets, and let's see if I can lift 70 kilos. Let's go. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I did four reps because usually when I do back, I do back alone. And then I have enough power to lift more than 70 kilos. Uh, but now I did chest four exercises, so I will do back also four exercises. So really, really, I, I don't want to push too much because I want to save the energy for tomorrow and day after and day after. Yeah, that's what's most important. Okay, now we finish with this uh, narrow grip left pull down. I'm gonna do wide grip left pull down for the lats to make that V taper and uh, cobra back. So let's go. So I did uh, first set, 12 repetitions, and uh, yeah, I can feel a little bit tiredness, but yeah, there's no stopping. I'm gonna push myself and finish this workout. So go through it all, never give up. Finish the work that you have started. That's my motto. Second set, let's go.
Okay, so I started to see that I could not perform exercise properly. Uh, I have to pull the weight, um, not all the way to my chest. Also, I have to lean back because the limiter is not directly on my leg. It doesn't uh, press my leg and keep it down. So I have to stand on my toes to, you know, keep my body in balance. Uh, have to be careful with your lower back when you're performing exercise like this. So yeah, I'm gonna keep it this way. Now it's 50 kilo. Uh, instead of 60, I will do 55, and four sets I will do 60 kilo. So I will not go 10 kilo more each uh, set. So that I did 12, 10, and now I'm gonna try to do eight reps and then finish with six reps. So let's go, third set. Okay, so I can see and feel the pump already and uh, yeah, I have to take rest a little bit longer. Uh, usually I do around 30 seconds up to one minute depending what type of exercise it is. Squat, yeah, I have to uh, have longer breaks in between the sets. So yeah, I can see that I can do easily narrow grip and the wide grip, that's why. As you could notice, I'm not doing it very wide, I'm doing it in the uh, shoulder width. So I'm not doing it very wide for my triangle or V taper, uh, but I'm doing it in my shoulder width uh, range. So it's safe, it keeps your joint safe. If you do too narrow, then your wrists and uh, also, your, uh, your elbow will suffer. Uh, I don't want to injure myself. Like I'm for the safe approach. And uh, bro, bro, brother, keep it safe. Keep it 100 and continue working. Okay, enough talking. Let's do the fourth set. Let's go. As you could notice, I didn't know if you did, but uh, the weight was stuck. It has glued to the uh, my weight that I chose. I chose 60 kilos, but uh, five more kilos I was stuck, and so I had to like jerk it a little bit so it will uh, unglue. Yeah, so I have to always be in control. Oh. When you're performing an exercise, don't let the machine lead you. You are in control. You lead the machine. Okay. So um, now I'm gonna do third exercise for the back, which will be this. Let's go.
Okay guys, this is fourth back exercise. I'm not gonna force myself. First set I did 40 reps, 40 uh, kilograms. Second set 45, third 50. And I'm gonna finish with 55. Usually uh, I could lift 70 even more. But this time I'm gonna be careful. Take it easy, okay? We don't wanna get injured. Let's go. Most important thing is first, don't get injured. So uh, the follow-up answer will be uh, do every exercise properly. Okay, don't force yourself and think, oh, I'm a superman, I, I can lift and blah blah blah. Because uh, ego is what leads a lot of people to injury. So. <laughs> yeah, this moment between the songs. <laughs> it's like a minute of silence <laughs> for the injured brother. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm not saying don't push yourself, but this is not the time or uh, my approach. When I train beginners, I like to train them safe, okay, safe approach, first show them how to perform each exercise, create a workout program for them, maybe nutrition plan if they require, and then we go full speed, like no backing down, no quitting, no nothing, we just push, 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 but now uh, this exercise, this workout, I like to do uh, control, like take it easy. This is just a demonstration video, okay guys, you can use it as a reference to create your own workout. Okay guys, one more set and we're done for today. I'm gonna do stretching after always like warm up five minutes and stretching five minutes. That's what I advise. Uh, a lot of people they don't stretch. That's why they have uh, short uh, tendons or short muscles. And when, you know what happened to a guy called Joe Aesthetics, shout out to Joe in Thailand, in uh, Pattaya. I, I was in Bangkok and uh, I really want to meet with this guy. This guy has from uh, Austria. Germany actually, Bavaria, and uh, he was traveling all over the world, but best place that he likes to spend is uh, Bangkok in Pattaya. He trains in um, Muscle Factory Gym. If you know him, if you see this video, please say hello to Joe. I follow him on Instagram. He has 6 million followers, which is wow. Like in a year and a half during this pandemic, he got more than 3 million followers. I cannot even get 5,000. Can you help me? Follow my Instagram link in the description of this video. Let's go. Hey guys, that was all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, I will do some stretching in five minutes. I don't want to make this video too long, so thank you all for watching. Please, if you want to hire me as a personal trainer or an online coach, I'm available. Send me an email or DM on Instagram or Facebook. And uh, come to Gym 2000, have some in Montenegro. Let's work and let's lose some uh, fat. Let's gain some muscle make progress, health is the most important thing here, 2022, 
uh, end of uh, pandemic. So it's very important to take care of your body, exercise, uh, eat healthy food, and that's what I promote and have been promoting all of my life. So hire me as a coach. I'm a good example, especially for the younger kids. I don't smoke, I rarely drink alcohol, and uh, never use drugs, never use steroids, supplements, things like that. I really am careful what I put inside my body, so please like this video for the support and subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram and other social media. Till next time, guys, stay safe, stay strong, and see you. Ciao.